talk to Daniel Marsh himself and we are here at the M2 Gallery. So do you think you can get a, a Damien to have a quick chat to us over at one of his paintings? Yeah, I do think I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Oh, and this is Damien March, the artist himself. Hey Damien. Hello. I took on a painting like this 10, 20 years ago. It's been a lifetime of just working and understanding that. with it that you don't actually get in a photograph or something else so it's been quite popular the people want these in their homes and in galleries as well because of that contrast and it's all about that tactility it's acrylic. this is acrylic so i always like to blend in three to four different paints into one so occasionally i use pure paint but it's all about just getting that contrast happening and a unique quality with the paint colour as well. So it's got a bit more depth and a bit more substance to it. It's a sunset, that one, so yeah. Because uh, that glow yeah. that you see when the sun's just either rising or setting is yeah. really coming through there. Yeah, and I try to incorporate that into other areas as well. It's all about what colours you use in that sky, you incorporate them throughout the composition. Expressionistic, I was highly influenced by the expressionistic, like Jackson Pollock, neo-expressionism, um, Rothko, like anyone that really applied paint thickly, like um, the English artist Bacon as well. And I also looked at some um, Francois Neely, she's a French artist, who uses a lot of um, gestural palette knife. Um, brush selection is a big part, but um, it's all about having a nice quality, high quality brush, I think, especially those initial blends of paint with a horizon line. And um, when you start getting more intricate detail, you need that really fine hair brush as well. Just to, it's all about transparency of paint too, just feathering it off. So you need a high quality brush for that. Yeah. Absolutely. And one more thing before you go. You said you've got a lot coming up in the US this year, 2023. Yes. So coming up for you? I've got a lot of commission work. I've had a couple of, sh I've had three shows now in LA, so Beverly Hills. So it's been very successful. So I'm going back into Arizona this year. So there'll be a big commission piece taking place there. So I'm looking forward to it.